My name is my name is O.J. Blunt, and I, I, I modified, customized the, the beehive, the top and the bottom. This is the bottom. It's 31 and a half inches long, 16 and a half inches wide. It gives you enough room for your landing board, and you, you start out by putting a, a railing all the way around it, like that. The railing all the way around the bottom. Now that's your, that's your bottom. And then you go from there to, to uh, you, you put this here, this is the next thing you put on, this is the, the pack that you move. I got two screws in holding in place. And then you, you, you put this in there. And the next thing you do, you take your, 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 your 5 30 seconds metal and you, and you, you, you ribbit it, staple that to that. And then when you turn that over, then that there goes, that goes in here just like that. And so, now then, it's, it's enough room to go underneath there for, for, for you, cleaning it out. And underneath that go, goes this, this your piece here, which is, goes underneath it. And it, this slides, slides underneath it, right there underneath it, like that. And uh, then the, you put Vaseline and, and the whole jelly on that. And then you set this in place, like, like, like that right there. Now, in order, in order to keep this end from coming down, you have to have a, that floor is too low, so you have another piece in here, just enough to, for the end there. It goes out to the edge, to the very edge, like that. And then, this your, this your landing board, you got this your rough edge, when the bees is coming in, it's rough edge. So, you put this on there like that, and that takes, that covers that, so when the bees go through there, and so when you, when it's, it's running through there, so you've got the, you got your, your your three pieces of metal that goes on there, and that guides the bees right into that their five thirty second hole, and and by having the the uh, the hole in there, so you have only got about six inches of, of space here, and and a weak hive can guard off there because it's only a quarter inch high. It's only six inches wide, and then when you when you set the set the high body on there, like into that. So you got to, but of course these two, these two railings goes over on, on on the sides here. That raises it raises it up. Those two railings. Now if you can do that, and then, and then you set your, you set your hive on, on onto that. So that, 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 that makes it real good. Now coming on over, on, on over here, showing you just a little bit more of it. Now you got these three little pieces of metal here. This here go right over the edge of that there. So and then you put these little pieces right in there. And then you, 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 take, you take the, the edge boards here. And that, that, there, that there slides up underneath it. And uh, then you, you, your, your body sets right on top of it. Just like this right here. Now this is the way it look, looks. There it's all there. With the four screws holding holding this on. So that, that seals off, paint sealed off any little bitty cracks so you don't have no bugs getting in. And then when you put these on the front like that. Of course these goes underneath it like that. And uh, it, it seals it off, see. So that gives you a complete, uh, there. And uh, now the, the top of it. When, uh, this is the top part right here. It's made out of with uh, three holes in the middle, and it's got four holes on each corner. Now these four holes on the, each corner uh, is covered with the screen wire. And then I made a plug to plug these holes up. Now these holes is in the middle there is is, is for one purpose only. It's for feeding the bees, or, or you can club up in in the summer when we don't need the bees. See, and, and so if you put three jars of sugar syrup, or you can put one jar of uh, powdered uh, stuff in there with little holes in it, and the bees take the powder and then they get the sugar syrup from that. And, but if you, you want a bigger jug than there, you can take, put a bigger jug in there, and, and you can put two gallons in there and, and a big jar of uh, pollen in there, and you can feed the, feed the bees that way. So that gives you a, a, a good uh, a, a good setup. And when you when you're not feeding them in the in the summertime, you put the, you put these plugs in there, 
and the, so the air goes in here when you put the top on the air goes through here and out these four vents on each side so that they get plenty because I cut this hole down and it's like a stove pipe it goes through here and out them four four holes and so it, it makes the ventilation real good and I have no problem with the wax moss or nothing in my, in my setup and I use no kind of chemicals whatsoever and, uh, and since they're up on a high post like we got over here this year post here it gives you these you put about two foot in the ground and it's really stable and then when you set your beehive up on top of it see that's, that's two foot in the ground or two foot and a half and you set your beehive on there and you've got four holes on the side you, that you put a screw in here when you set your beehive up there it can't blow off and so that is that is my way of you can make your own beehive following it my way. So, uh, so thank you for watching and hope you can make your own just by my demonstration here.